Like I said, first off, guys, we're going to do the King's Ransom repack. There is a Zion Williamson PSA 10 from Optic in there, so we're going to get into that. The lineup for that is going to be D-Town Love, Dylan, uh, Father Prime, Dak 707, The Rabbit, Knobs, Kavito, uh, Planter, Colorado Duck, and then Baked. So I'm going to go ahead and just shuffle these since this is a smaller batch. Once again, this is only um, 10 packs. I'm just going to shuffle them up like this. For the Chase 4 for Series 8, I actually have a box now that I'm just going to use to shuffle because all those packs kind of get hard to shuffle. So, Once again, 10 packs on this. All right. All right, so 10 packs. We're looking for the Zion. A whole bunch of other good stuff in here. We'll get right into it. First off is leading off uh, D-Town Love. Good luck to D-Town Love. D-Town Love with the Michael Vick SPX Supreme on-card auto. Michael Vick SPX on-card auto. Next up, we have Dylan Good luck to Dylan. Going out to Dylan. It's going to be a second year LeBron James Fleer Authentics. Most people know that this is a card that I love. I think this is really going to start shooting up in value along with a lot of other second year LeBron stuff. Uh, the more he solidifies that legacy as possible GOAT. I won't call him the GOAT. I mean, I think he's uh, still behind Jordan and Kobe to me, but... Next up, we've got Father Prime. Father Prime in the three spot. Good luck, Father Prime. Going out to Father Prime is going to be a Ken Griffey Jr. Upper Deck Etchings Auto. It's numbered out of 1625. 1625. That's going to be going out to Father Prime. Really nice card. Griffey stuff's only going to keep going up, and I paid a pretty penny for that card to put in here. Next up's going to be Dax 707. Good luck to Dax. Going out to Dax is going to be a just massive pack of Chronicles. A lot of rookies in here. This is probably the worst pack out of them all, but there's still a lot of value if you want to sit down and single these out. Ton of Chronicles cards, rookies, Zion on the front. Next up, we've got the Rabbit. Going out to the Rabbit is going to be a Matt Ryan 2018 Panini Select Silver Prism PSA 10. Going out to the Rabbit. All right, next up is going to be Knobs. Going out to Knobs, it's going to be another second-year card of LeBron that I love, the Hoops Prospects, Hot Prospects, uh, Hoops of LeBron, second-year card. The foil on these are so nice. Just that little touch of foil. Next up is going to be... Kevito, Kevito. Still no Zion pulled yet. Is this going to be it right here? Going out to Big Kev. There it is. Zion Williamson, PSA 10, Optic. This card is dipped, uh, but this card is only going to go right back up as soon as basketball season gets close. Congratulations to Big Kev. And on the back end, we've got Planner, Colorado, Duck, and Bait. Going out to Planner is going to be a Miles Boykin Plates and Patches out of 99 rookie card. Most people know that I, once again, love Miles Boykin. I think he's going to get hot for the Ravens this year. He's going to be that red zone target. Decent patches for a nasty patch like this. Big chunky boy. Three color. 
Wish this was on card auto, but it is what it is. Colorado Duck. Colorado Duck, good luck. You didn't know that was in there. 2017 Panini Prism Alvin Kamara Instant Impact PSA 10. I think that the gap on the Mahomes from this year and the, some of the good running backs is just so huge. I think this card's really going to start spiking up. This is a card that has doubled since I bought it. And this is why I buy certain cards so that when it, I can put it in low and you guys can still make money. I put that Instant Impact in there as like a $20 card maybe because that's what I bought it for. Now it's up to 60 Last but not least is going to be Baked. Going out to Baked is going to be not one National Treasures RPA, but two National Treasures RPAs of Devontae Parker. I believe both are out of 99 on this. Yep, both out of 99. Two Devontae Parker RPAs. Going out to bait. I appreciate that, Brad. You know, this is our first time doing it. I definitely want to ask everybody that was in it what they thought of it, if we should keep doing it. Obviously, I want to be able to keep the uh, pack run small so you've got a good chance to hit something big. All right, so King's Ransom is done, guys. King's Ransom is done. Now we're going to get into the Series 8 repack.